So an offbeat comedy in the vein of a Bob Ross doing Wes Anderson, will it work? I guess let's talk about that. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Paint, the newest film from director Britt McAdams. So imagine, if you will, if you took Bob Ross, mixed in with a little bit of Wes Anderson, and had a very oddball romantic comedy with a lot of serious undertones about looking at your life and, you know, looking at the, the, the people around you and how you affected it. And that's what Paint is. Paint is about a guy named Carl Nargle, who's a famous painter in this, like, this small town of uh, in Virginia. He works for PBS. He's well-known, well-loved, and so on and so forth. But he's starting to show his signs of age. He's start, starting to show his signs of, you know, being uh, of a different time. And, of course, this character named Ambrosia comes into the mix, uh, who's played by uh, Sierra Renee. And, basically, his world gets turned upside down. He realizes his, mista his mistakes, and he has to kind of uh, uh, kind of go through and try to figure out who he is while affecting the people around him and stuff like that. That's kind of what the story is. It's like what would happen if Bob Ross had some real personal issues that affected him and so on and so forth. So yeah there you go that's what this movie movie basically is, is about his look at life so so it's not really that surprising that owen wilson would do a film like this he's known for doing a lot of indie you know comedies or dramas and stuff like that he's known for doing a lot of wes anderson films which his film feels very much like but he's an individual that is willing to do the big budget you know loki style stuff but do the very small indie kind of comedies and stuff like that and so a film like this that takes like a bob ross style character and throws him into a landscape where you know the up and comer is an individual that does like paintings like you know ufos with blood spewing out of it and stuff like that he just does landscapes and whatnot it makes a lot of sense for coming into like the way your paintings are looked at today compared to what they used to be looked at with a film like this you know the the question really remains is it worth watching should you watch it if you're not into like Wes Anderson films or you're not into those really strange, really offbeat, really oddball type comedies? And I will say this. I personally enjoyed this film. I thought it was a lot of fun. And I thought it was very entertaining. It was part of that regal mystery movie thing. So a lot of people didn't know what they were getting themselves into, which... At this point, if you see the Regal Mystery movies, you know they're not going to be like Dungeons and Dragons and Mario, so you kind of have to go into, kind of go with that kind of a mindset, I guess you could say. But Owen Wilson, once again, is a huge standout in this movie. He's a lot of fun. He is very complex of a character. You know, he's very much doing that deadpan comedy that he's always known for. And unfortunately, he doesn't say wow in this movie, which is kind of surprising. But it's it's a movie about a character that has to change who he is, but still kind of look into himself because at this point in his career, he's just painted the same thing over and over and over instead of painting from the heart. So when Ambrosia, who's played by uh, uh, Sierra Renee, comes into the mix, it really shows that he's just kind of out of touch. He drives like a 70s van he has a fro that's out of the 70s and 80s and stuff like that there's a character played by Michaela Watkins who plays his kind of you know one one time love interest who still is in his life uh and so on and so forth so they kind of have to have that kind of whole shtick there and then of course a lot of the women in this movie like Wendy McClendon uh, Covey and uh Lucy Fryer and some other characters like Stephen Root and stuff like that they come into the mix and it's just it's really interesting to see these characters play I think I wanted more out of like Sierra R Renee or whatever and you know i think that michaela Watkins is perfectly all right and steven root is doing what steven root does but really it's just more about the character of uh, uh carl nargle who his kind of look at life and how he's kind of portrayed himself and to watch him kind of kind of go through and kind of reevaluate who he is and still take time to be who he is and kind of how he affected people that's the most that's the strength of this movie is that situational awareness that he starts to have to come overcome because he has always been in this mindset of just who he is and when somebody comes in and kind of uh confronts him about that and kind of you know takes his way his mantle you kind of see how he's going to change a little bit and i really like that it's almost like if you took anchorman and made it like a really kind of dry humored comedy in a lot of respects that's kind of where you have to look at it but once again you kind of have to realize that this movie is not going to be for everyone because it is a very wes anderson style movie it's a very just weird weird sensibilities and it has a very weird kind of chaotic nature to it where the characters or are, are, are inhabiting this world in vermont which is a thing you don't really see very often you see like la or new york or you know canada or something like that or britain where these films will take place but you never see a film like in vermont and see how that takes place so like that and i think Britt mcadams who is i think doing like this is one of his first actual films that isn't like a uh, a tv series or like a comedy stand-up act that he drew 
directed. This really feels like a, a first time effort. It really shows in the aspects of just it's a little a little loose in its narrative and it is a little it needs to tighten it up a little bit, even though it's a 96 minute movie. But I think overall, I think it's a well directed film for what it's worth. I think Owen Wilson's really good in it and I think everybody else is fine. They could use a little more like, pumping up when it comes to their characters, but I think they all do a, a very effective job of how we, helping Owen Wilson's character get through the problems that he needs to end up kind of you know uh, completing and so on and so forth for a movie. So I enjoyed it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's not going to be for everyone, but I think it's a movie worth watching if you like those sensibilities when it comes to the very kind of crazy, oddball, offbeat type comedies in a lot of respects. So, and with that said, uh, that will do it. That will be my take on this film, Paint. Like I said, it should be in theaters or at least limited release very, very soon. But once again, it was a regal mystery movie. So I do, you know, I like when they kind of throw these types of films in. So with that said, thank you so much. Comments below. Let me know if you're interested in seeing this movie. And what's your favorite like off B off oddball type comedy, all that good stuff. Otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button, the join movie emporium, hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like the video, awesome, hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.